Yo. Yeah. Man. Man. Yo. The Shotzi Hayes principle states that when we disturb our system at equilibrium, the concentrations of the reactants and products shift to undo the disturbance, changing the temperature, changing the mass, and changing pressure by changing volume. These are three ways to disturb a system at chemical equilibrium. When the temp is up in an endothermic reaction, you have to shift right, you know it. But in an exothermic, we shift to the left. We got a hot tip. Treat heat like mass shift in the direction that consumes the excess. K equals products over reactants. The higher the P equals the higher the K because it's directly proportional. Adding a substance, the reaction will shift to reestablish equilibrium by consuming part of the excess. Removing a substance will cause the reaction to move in the direction that forms more of that substance. But remember that K is not affected by mass. Only temp. Okay, now, now listen, 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 listen. You, you gotta, gotta be hardcore. hardcore. Study with us, and you won't get a bad score. As I go up, I go down. He go up, she go down. Equilibrium, feeling it. Period. When you do the volume, volume in a in gas, gas equilibrium, shift to the side with the lesser moles. Increase in the volume causes a shift in the direction that produces more gas molecules. Welcome to. Honors chemistry got an equal number of moles in the reaction. Changing the pressure will not change the system. Jammy Jam told him not to stay south. Uh, K equals products over reactants. No solids or liquids allowed. K equals one. K equals one. K has no units. K has no units. If K is greater than one, the products are favored. If it is less, the reactants are greater, cause K is directly proportional to products, and K is inversely to the reactants. Hey, hey, do you get this problem? Yeah, man, that's about equilibrium. If a reaction is in a closed container, it will reach equilibrium on its own. Hey, hey, do you get this problem? Yeah, man, that's about equilibrium. If a reaction is in a closed container, it will reach equilibrium on its own. Catalysts speed up both of the sides, so there is no shift in a direction. If you add a substance that's not in the reaction, there will be no effect. Here's an example problem. See if you can solve it. N2O4 double arrow to NO2. Describe three ways you can increase the rate. This question assumes you're not at equilibrium. And this equation involves gases only. Increase the temperature. We got two more to go. Increase the concentration of the reactants. And for the last answer, it's increase the pressure. The Shotzi Ace principle states that when we disturb a system at equilibrium. The concentrations of the reactants and products shift to undo the disturbance. Hey, hey, do you get this problem? Yeah, man, that's about equilibrium. Don't forget, only temperature affects K, not mass or pressure. Are you listening? Hey, hey, do you get this problem? Yeah, man, that's about equilibrium. Don't forget, only temperature affects K, not mass or pressure. Are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? About equilibrium. Don't forget, only temperature affects K, not mass or pressure. Are you listening? Hey. did follow me back. Hi, I'm Tia. I'm at the Korean Bell, and I wish I was Live Right Vlogs. Let's see. Lena just texted me. It's still me. What's up?
I go down, she go up. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, do you get this problem? Yeah, man, that's about equilibrium. When a reaction is in a closed container, it will reach equilibrium on its own. Listen in. Okay. <laughs> More of that substance. But remember, that K is not affected by mass. Only temp. We're way too fast. Yeah. The Shanti A's principle states that when. The Shanti A's principle states that when. We disturb a system. Changing the temperature and changing the mass. And changing pressure and changing, pressure and changing the volume. These are three ways to disturb a system at chemical equilibrium. We're like monkeys on video. <laughs> so hard, I got thorns rolling down that hill. Welcome to Chem Honors. Um, don't take Chem Honors if you're not willing to roll down a hill.